and we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create an axonometric Rubik's Cube. First need the grid, you can generate that under file, document properties, go to grids right here and then pick in a drop down axonometric grid, click on new. You can zoom in a little bit and then we'll use the Bezier tool, the snapping is enabled and it helps us creating the basic unit. You can see we've got a black stroke. Let me open the fill and stroke menu with a double click. It's a black flag color. I'll press Ctrl D to copy that and then I drag the copy right here. I repeat the process. Now I copy these three. Once again Ctrl D and reposition that. We've got three times three. I'll select it all, Ctrl D, then I click on it again and I hold Ctrl and I rotate it. Just like this. Now it's the right side. Once again I press Ctrl D and now I flip it horizontally. Now we've got the left side. We don't need the grid anymore so let's go to File, Document Properties and Remove. Once again you'll find that under Grids. Let us select it all, then go to Path, and we'll combine it. Now we can go to Path Effects, under Path, click on the plus sign, and we need the corners. Check this box right here to change only selected nodes and use the Nodes tool. Make sure everything is selected, and then drag one node just like this. Create rounded corners, maybe a little bit more, but not too much. Something like this should be fine. All right, now we need to break it apart before we can recolor it. So select it all, path and break apart. And now we can only select each side individually. Hold shift and click on the ones that you don't want to have selected. If you select it too much like I did here. And then use the basic swatches down below. Let me make the last one blue. We could also make it yellow, whatever you want. Now let's take care of these areas in between and we can use this tool right here. It's kind of like the live paint bucket tool in Illustrator. It's called fill bounded areas. All you have to do is to click on an area, make sure you've got black as a fill color. Let us select it all, press Ctrl G, when we resize it, hold Ctrl. And this is how you can create such an axonometric Rubik's Cube in Inkscape. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.